Uh, we're back in the garage. Uh, this is a quick one to Uma or to how to repair this uh, bearing problem at the, at the turbine end. Um, what I found is uh, this face on the turbine wheel isn't square to the hole, the tapped hole. So the only fix I can think of now is to put this shaft back in the lathe, perhaps chuck that end steady on this area, clock this as true as you can and obviously the other end as true as you can um, and then there's no centre hole in this then put a, a centre dimple use quite a big centre drill, this is 1 8 5 16 so the end is 1 8 uh, just put a dimple in that to put a ball bearing in stick it in with a bit of grease, sticky grease uh, to hold it in that position while you you put the turbine wheel on. I'm just going to drop it in there for now. It wants to be smack in the middle. What we're going to try and do is load up the thread as if it was on the shaft proper in use. So what you do with that ball in the centre it's going to push on the thread even and tighten up. But what it then gives you is you've got a gap between between the two there, between the the, the burring surface and the uh, turbine end. So what you want to do is you want to get a, a sharp part off tool. Obviously I'd have to cut this out to clear these um, turbine wheel. Uh, but these two, it's as soft as this bit, the only weld on the end bit uh, that's hard. Uh, so what wants to happen is, I'll have to just reverse it, this is five and a half as per the book at the moment. Uh, you really want to make it under five, something like 4.8, 4.7, yeah? Um, that'll then mean what we're trying to do is make this so that, that this seat is square to the thread. So what I want you to do is, is take a bit, take that five and a half down to four eight on the bearing surface and then you need to dress this bit up, make sure you don't damage the threads, you, you, I think you'll just about get away with it, stop before you hit the threads. Uh, clean a good half a milli off this this uh, face, the spigot on this turbine wheel, take a good half a milli off it to get it nice and square. Um, and then what I suggest you do then is take the turbine wheel off again while it's still in the lathe, still set up, uh, the length of this is too long, the thread's too long, it's, it's, when you measure this, this is, I think it's 12 and a half, I think, that ball bearing's in there, hang on, 12 and a half, but the thread's near enough that, so when you've, when you've took that down and, and skimmed this face, using the ball bearing, take the turbine wheel off, while this is still in the lathe, take a good, uh, two milli off the end of this thread and then it's not going to bottom out in the turbine wheel um, and then when you've done that you're not quite finished there put a put an old bearing on tighten it up make sure it's seated against that bearing face get a half a thou feel or something yeah uh, there shouldn't be any wobble it should contact uh, the inner race on this and then what you'll have to do is take the smallest skim off this turbine diameter as you can uh, to, to absolute minimum if, if some are just a couple of thou low I just leave, don't take too much out you end up with too much clearance that's what I'm bothered about but you need to do you do need to true it up a little bit because um, it, it may not be you'd have to see how good it is really okay so that's all I've got to say for that for the moment Bye for now.